Okie dokie. So here we are backstage. These are, I think they call them theatre curtains. This is just for a school. And the rope has snapped. So we're in the process of re-threading it. Now this has been done a few times and this is dated back 1957. So this is a big learning curve. I'm going to take up the scaffolding and show you what we found and how we're doing it, how we're doing it, okay? We're not professionals, this is just our job and this is what we're doing. Now the rope we've purchased is the wrong stuff. Um, I went to a theatre called, it's called theatre, whatever it was, bought the rope and it's the wrong thickness and they said no that'll do, it won't, it, there's no way. I'm not hoping and I'll show you that when we get up there. So without further ado, let's get in this thing and get up. I'm going to have to put this down, I can't do both. Okay, right. So each curtain is held up by these rollers. Okay, and they go all the way down there. And the other one is all the way down there. Now what we can make out, there's a top rope here. So you look at that, that's about 5 mil thick. I've ordered six. This is what they said. This is about ten. And it's not gonna fit, it doesn't even fit through the hole. So let me explain. So we have two big metal runners or holders, whatever you want to call them, I don't know. I'm not a theatre person. And they're supporting the curtains and the rails. So on this curtain, you have this runner. Okay, and that runs all the way along to this stop here. There's a stop there. Okay, so that's the one there. So what I've done, I've pulled these two curtains together. Okay, in the middle. All right. And this rope, which is this, this is this little rope. When you pull it, you can see the tension. So it looks like that, let me just undo that. Okay, so this is the opposite runner you have to bear with me now and this is the other runner for the other curtain and these two are directly linked by a rope that runs all the way down through a pulley at the bottom and comes all the way back along this track so this rope is actually just hanging loose i'll explain in a minute and then on this curtain exactly the same principle in theory so it comes from here the rope goes all the way across all the way down and then it leaves I can see that now it's not one of this thing it leaves out the side there where that ladder is and it goes all the way down to the floor and through a very very small counterweight and then comes back up again I'm trying to do this the best way I can and then what it does then it goes on the inside of this track see that one there and it goes all the way down against this plinth. So the ropes do not go both inside. There's always two ropes hanging on the outside of the track. Get it? And then what you do, there, this rope here coming along now, which you see when I pull it, tensions that back rope. Okay. What that'll do then, that'll connect to this pulley here. Right. And the other pulley rope, which is the one at the back here, that rope, which is going down all the way along the wall, all the way down there to the counterweight, and this rope's coming back up again, it doesn't matter which way, will then connect to this pulley. Right, now I'm going to show you what, what I'm... <sighs> let me explain. Right, okay. So, when someone pulls this rope, okay, this one, connected to this pulley, this pulley then goes back that way. And it, when it does that, it pulls this rope, which is connected to this curtain, and they both part. Got it? So they're doing opposites, and when you pull them, or when you close them, they both close. It's really ingenious. It's a quite clever idea, but very simple. And I'm trying to explain. So once the other rope comes, which I've ordered today, I will show you once we fitted it, exactly what I mean, and it'll just click into place. So, yeah, pretty straightforward, actually. Yeah, quite enjoyed that. Okay, so there's the two ropes going up to the, this first curtain. 
right and then it comes down and then it goes through the counterweight then it's going to be bolted to the floor or not but it, it does the job but it's just too thick that took me a while to get that through there all right so that, that'll do automatically it'll just stay there as you're pulling the ropes and then both curtains will close and open and i'll show you that when we finished it okay so i looked on the internet and there was nothing about these type of curtains so i thought i'd do a quick video just to help people out i'll explain when it's finished and the ropes here which is coming today and then um, hopefully it'll help some okay so we've got some slack going here which is tied a knot on so you need to use the right cable i'm using six mil you probably get away with uh, made me get away with eight mil okay so it feeds up through there on each one same with that one there you can see so that cable goes all the way down the rope comes back along here and this is like a separate curtain but i reckon if you had a complete rope that did the lot it would go through let me show you let me look at this here so you got see that so it would come through here through there through that there's a hole there and it would go through back round over the top of that now i reckon it'd be one continuous rope which would be a lot easier but we didn't do this so we've got to do what they've done so what we've done we just we've replaced this rope so it goes through there that pulley there along all the way down slack against the wall through and then comes along these runners and runs over the top and then connects to this one and it works perfect so i'm just going to show you in a second just both going to clip that off and, and once you're done we've tied the i put a double knot and where are we don't forget your fire hazard just sealing the end like so it's hot and there we go we're done so like i said it goes through there and then hooks over the top of one of those all right if you enjoyed the vid give it a thumbs up and a like this will help anybody else take care and we will catch you in the next one